loose is a good way to describe how we make these films. My cameraman husband and I have found the best way to discover and enjoy a country's most beautiful places is to walk the trails, pathways and streets. In the second part of our film, Dave and I visit the University City of Krakow, once the royal seat and former capital of Poland. We explore its historic streets and take a crazy communist tour. But first we travel to the very south of the country, to Zakopane, Poland's top mountain resort. All year round, visitors come here for skiing and winter sports, for hiking and to spend their vacation in this lovely cultural town. The whole Tatra Mountains are covered by the national parks on Polish side and Slovak side. Maybe I'll be a little bit subjective, but Tatra Mountains are the most beautiful mountains in the world, of course. They are even called the small Alps. Beneath you have town of Zakopane, which is a very rich culture, plenty of events, um, very good uh, restaurants and places to sit and spend a nice evening. Yeah, very friendly people very rich folk culture, which is quite a rare thing in Europe. And uh, the last uh, but not least, uh, it's um, relatively cheap. It's still good value for money, so uh, quite undiscovered land in the central Europe. Uh, um, definitely it's worth to come here. Dave and I are taking a rainy Polish train ride towards our next European destination, Krakow. On arrival, we were relieved to find that the sun is shining in the city. Krakow was the capital of Poland and residence of monarchs for 500 years, from medieval times until the 16th century, when the royal seat was moved to Warsaw. Today, this enchanting city remains a treasure trove of national culture and is the richest city of historical monuments in the country. Krakow has been long established as an important university city. In fact, it is home to the oldest one in Central Europe, dating back to the 14th century. There are many sites to see here and exactly, it's very hard to list all of them because the whole Krakow uh, is on the UNESCO list, uh, so I can mention only a few, like the main market square, which is one of the biggest market square in Europe, 200 meters bright, and for example, Wawel Castle uh, on the Wawel Hill, uh, close to the Vistula River, um, Jewish Quarter, where you can find another kind of atmosphere and the tradition of Jewish people. The most of restaurants here are very good to try. And the marriage church uh, on the market square with Weitstock's altar. Mm -hmm. 